Hey, how's it going, everyone? It's your hobby cat here with more Borderlands. I'll try to contain myself. I apologize how weird the uh, release schedule's been. Just getting back into the swing of things and all. But uh, yeah, we're going to go deal with Sledge. Sledge has been a jerk. And uh, well, what do you do with jerks, you know? At least when it's Borderlands. Okay, the rest can handle themselves. Oh. Not close enough, obviously. Alright, everyone's been dealt with. Uh, I have increased my mic volume. I found that at least at one point it was being pretty quiet. I will try to keep my voice lowered because uh yeah with my mic volume up if i get too excited well uh that i don't want to hurt someone's eardrums yeah no also let me know if i need to tweak it a little more it is what it is and i finally got my pop filters hopefully that will have resolved the issue Enough walking i mean they don't fit as well as i'd like but it was also a five pack for cheap so as it kind of fits we'll see what happens yeah, let's drive ourselves over to uh, Headstone Mine, I think it is. Either way, we're going for Sledge. And then any of the other stuff we'll probably clean up after. Um, depending on how long this video takes. I know there's a few quests that'll pop up along with two that I currently have. And yeah, I think that'll get cleaned up after. Yeah, it's back this way. Thing is, this might not actually take that long, so I don't know. I'm just really trying to figure out what would be a good order. Cause I know what li I like these videos lengthwise to be, but things have been a little crazy, so maybe I'll just stick it to just getting through this main portion. I don't know. I am stuck on a rock. Okay then. I hit the wrong button. You know what? That should be a little better. Let me uh let me know if it you're picking up some weird echoing or anything. I did just up my volume on the TV. But it doesn't look as if anything's picking up unless sound effects end up picking up from it. But I did also lower like the music volume a little bit because my mic was picking it up i'm in a i don't know i'm trying to get used to the new space and trying to make sure that everything works well and i mean we'll go from there i also need to figure out if i can like lower the recording volume when i'm talking because that means i can keep other things louder and stuff like yeah i don't know the whole thing's just kind of weird anything good in these vending machines Uh, I don't care. Get your mess here. Last mod. That doesn't seem that bad, but it's not what I'm looking for. And that's not what I want. And those shields don't do anything for me. Let's play with some uh, TDR, I guess. For these bandits. All right, boys, take them out. You're going down. You want some of this? Ooh, someone's got something a little bigger. A little slow, but otherwise nice. Where are you? Hello. That works. That was probably on me. Oh, they're behind me. Okay. Yeah, and again, if I don't sound much enthused, I do enjoy this game. I just really don't want to accidentally mess with someone's eardrum, you know? That would not be a good thing. I mean, unless you don't think you need them, but I mean, I did, I did factory work, so 
hearing kind of important and that's a place that makes you take a hearing test every so often just to make sure you're not messing up your hearing so it's a brute yeah this uh could be a little better but i just found this in a vending machine before i started recording this ain't bad Eh. Ew. I mean, outside of being stuff to sell. Yeah, that figures. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm really good at this. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything in here because there's all these lockers and such. And Borderlands 1, you can find legendaries and stuff like this. So, hey, why not, you know? <sighs> or in my case, find garbage. Anything back here? Also, let me know how I, uh, how I sound in this. Hopefully I sound better. I'm actually using a different recording software than I used to use, and even what I was using in the last couple of videos. I, I didn't like how some of that worked out. If you paid attention, you noticed that there was a little bit of a recording issue. This software hopefully won't have that. Or at least it seems more... To me, at least, user-friendly than the previous one. I vaguely understand the previous software, but I don't know that I really cared for some of its features. Certainly not with the way that I'm used to having a setup. So, I don't know. Had I learned on that software, it might have been different. But coming from a very straightforward software to having one with some more complex features that you kind of need to make sure you have set up first. Eh, it is what it is. Wow. I'm so amazed. More stuff to sell for later. I have plenty of stuff to sell before we get to the boss, I guess. I'll need to go open that up. So up we go. What else do I have equipped? Oh, yes. Torg. We'll open that up for later. Because I know I'm going to have to come in back in here uh, once this is all set and done. Oh, I don't know. It may reset by then. I don't entirely remember. But I know there's a quest in here after we've dealt with this as a side quest, which will most likely be in the next video. I know, I know, all this. We gotta make sure we got the money and the ammo for the fight. Even though I barely find weapons that interest me at the moment. Part of that is I'm still over leveled, I guess. Oh. Where'd you go? There you are, Jared. Oh. Yeah, that works. That works too. You gotta love when the problem handles itself. I mean, I, and I get this is a legendary, but man, legendary assault rifles were a little iffy in Borderlands 1. Borderlands 2 and the higher difficulties, they were iffy too. But, like, dang. No, it depends on the one, of course. Obviously, there were some good ones in 2, but you had to know how to use them and. Apparently there were some really good ones in three. I gotta get back to playing three at some point. Ooh, red chest. If I didn't have a much better revolver, that's not bad. But I have a really good revolver. I'm just not using it at the moment. Let's see what we've got. A blue? Okay, that could be nice. This battle cobra is a definite no for me though. And it had to be a shotgun. I like me some shotguns, but I prefer the more accurate type. And those are usually purple. Or better. Let's see. 
One dude. Shoot, Shoot them all! This was fun. That did not go like it wanted to do, but hey, whatever. I'm much more worried about something else around here. I don't know the difference yet. We'll just get close to you and let you handle yourself. Rush me. Come on. Just keep rushing me. Oh, he's a blazing, so yeah, that wouldn't have done much good. There's Brute. Oh my god, fire! We'll do this the easy way. Hello. Yes. Huh, well, that handled that mostly. Or well enough. Something. Eh, ammo. I still hear someone. Where are you? Hello. Well, at least it dropped some nice ammo and garbage. And I think I just heard what I was listening for. Yes, yes I did. Okay, where is... Let's have a little bit of fun. Now, given the way the mechanics in this game work, this could still be a bad idea, but... Hey, that works. I thought I was gonna miss. Yeah, just the way the mechanics in this game work, there was a uh, sway or deviation or something like that. I don't remember exactly how they called it, but snipers and launchers uh, were pretty bad about not hitting where you aimed, even if they were very accurate. The deviation was just, uh, it was brutal. And it's why I don't mind playing snipers in two, but not so much in one. Kind of feel bad since my wife loves using sniper rifles. Hey, someone's coming this way. Time. Oh. Eh. Ew. At least it's a repeater, but ugh. I don't know, I don't mind repeaters, but I do find I like the revolvers a little more. It does make uh, playing Mordecai fun, but I, outside of my very first playthrough, I do find that I like revolver Mordecai. My first playthrough, I tried to play sniper Mordecai. Great skill for the capstone on that tree, but yeah, it's uh, just not that enjoyable to play sniper Mordecai in this game. Was this any good? No, I will sell it later. Oh, where else? Come on, bring it on. Yes, my accuracy is horrible right now. Ooh, money. I'll take money. You guys over here even though it's actually the other way but there is a chest over here i want to grab Got him down! oh all can't handle me blazing. explosions because explosions that's for later but we need to go out to that I don't think it's possible to jump there, but I've never tried, so... And I really don't want to fall all the way down if I'm wrong. Uh, correct. Nothing out that way. Wow, all that for two whites. Oh, that's garbage. Give me a moment and we'll get going. I gotta go through here and figure out if anything's worth keeping in the non-legendary stuff. All right, so 
now that that's been sorted yeah i'm gonna have to find a good spot to fill i don't want to run all the way back to the beginning but there's just uh i don't know i'm at that weird spot where between my level and versus the level of the uh enemies in here nothing's really dropping a lot of good stuff compared to what i already had like i might see a nice thing here or there but between all the legendaries from playthrough one that was weird and uh just the difference in levels Huh, there's just uh not that much for me to grab that excites me hopefully maybe something good in here that i can dump something for look at all this stuff yeah if that weren't a sniper i'd be intrigued but i'm just not gonna bother i might grab it on my way back out if i remember or if i care I mean, most of the time, an enemy that I would need something corrosive against uh, probably is closer than I would want to be using a sniper rifle for. I mean, there is always that issue. Not sure about the safety first. I don't think they know the meaning of it, but hey, whatever. I guess that's where I already was. Didn't seem like it, but okay. I'm feeling kind of dumb right now, but what are you gonna do? Checkpoint, and we'll move on. well i've got uh some things running they're gonna be running overnight but if they uh do well i'll have made to complete three orders in one run instead of having to do it as three separate i mean yeah it means it's taking a nine hour about nine and a half hour print time but it is what it is i mean the stuff i've got uh i must have just barely tapped the trigger i didn't think i did but uh, yeah, the normally I have some stuff to run as an overnight that's bigger, but the client wasn't interested in any of those. They were wanting some smaller stuff to try out for a first order. And so I'm trying to condense it, make it a little easier. You know, having something nice size that you can run overnight certainly beats having to spread things out a little more because you gotta be able to run stuff while you sleep, right? didn't look it i got better now i could go up here i'm not now i will for a moment uh once i deal with these guys Kill them all. <laughs> i'm really good at this but i could go all out there right, to take boys, them all take out, them out but it's not really worth it to me right now On playthrough one, I might go there and slowly work on taking out enemies with something that's accurate. But given how overpowered I am at the moment, there really doesn't seem to be a reason to do it. Well, I'm probably just going to walk in. Maybe I'll even use my action skill. Reason. 
Oh, that was ammo, I think, wasn't it? You're on fire. Come over here. And that's back up to where we could have been. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything over here. I don't think I am. Well, just to be safe. I really should probably put the Thanatos back on over the protector. The protector's not that good to me, other than keeping the ammo regen. So maybe against uh, the boss that could be fun, but I don't know. challenging enemy yeah challenging when I'm seven levels over and has got all my skills running and it drops garbage thank you dude for uh dropping something I can't use Interesting inspiration from someone I respect. I'm not sure it really works for these videos. <laughs> Just because of all the UI elements, you know? All right, boys, take them out. I know. They Content creator problems, it. right? Give me something good. More loot? Don't mind if I do. I thought I said something good. I probably should take off my rocket launcher, but I'm not sure I want to because it could be fun. It could also be a really bad idea, but that's a different story. All right, making sure I'm not missing any chests or anything, and it's about time to go deal with the boss man. This is not taking as long as I thought it would. And again, I am fairly sure this is more of a challenge than playthrough one when you're, uh, you know, barely leveled and lacking gear. It's gonna take a moment. Oh, wait a moment. There we go. I have room now. Ah, first aid kit. You won't regret it. Come on, where's the uh where's the one to give me SMG uh regen, you know? That's what I keep looking for. I'd also like a nice new shield. I mean I don't think that's too much to ask for, is it? You know, a shield that could actually be useful. This one is a brute, and he has a powerful shield you will need to whittle down before you can hurt him. Don't let him touch you. Actually, with shield. Yeah, this could be fun. I guess I'll change. This should deal with the shield, though.
killing Sledge's men makes Sledge angry! You know, those might make some decent, uh... Grab his uh, shotgun. Eh, sure, why not? I'll mess with that in the next video. Let's make sure no one's losing or left anything good. is fun but otherwise not that useful at least to me at the moment yeah nah I'm good money and the part I bet you would like to know what that is the vault is real what you are holding is the key that opens it one part of it anyway And let's go turn this in. Hey, enemies. Something to deal with. This is Commandant Steele of the Atlas Corporation, Crimson Lance B Company, 3rd Starborn Brigade. I have just been informed that you have arrived on Pandora in search of the vault. And within minutes have started killing the locals and causing a disturbance. They started it. This planet is under the authority of the Atlas Corporation. And any Iridian artifacts found here are Atlas property. Possession Boo. of such property carries a stiff penalty. I invite you to turn yourself in at once to the nearest Lance outpost and surrender any information or artifacts in your possession. Consider this your one and only warning. I apologize if my microphone picked up me taking a drink. I'm still getting used to this. Oh, uh, my stuck on a rock vehicle is missing. I was gonna get a new one anyway. Let's get some wheels. We'll come back to that area later. That's where I want to go. all the way back to Zed. But then I plan to come back out here in a moment. I lost the beat, but 
don't clap trap actually while we're here i don't know if they've reset marcus you got anything good Ooh, that's that's a maybe yeah why not just for fun i don't know that i'm gonna use it but hey why not Dad, you got anything good in your vending machine? I'll drink to that. I might Busted not have up a nine toes to beat the hell out of but when you get shot, you're you'll be happy out of these parts. I already put into Pierce to give you clearance all through to the doll headland. You ought to be able to reach New Haven now. I'm not much for compliments, but you did fine. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I kind of smacked my microphone. I hardly believe you managed to take down Sledge. I'll put in a word to Helena, and I'm sure I'll tell her your story. She'll give you the clearance you need to enter the Dollhead Lands. And I don't care. Leaving Firestone, Pierce agreed to bump up your clearance level. She wants you to go to New Haven and meet with her. So drive west to the Dollhead Land gate and speak with the Claptrap robot there. He'll let you through. When you get past the gate, talk with Ernest Whitting on the other side. He knows the headland better than anyone and can bring you up to speed. Greetings, traveler. New missions are available at the Firestone Bounty Board. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> Don't forget to check out Marcus' out. store. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we still have that and that. And then we have scheming that sabotage. This here's a job for anyone who thinks they got a pair that clank. Everyone knows how the bandits over at Headstone Mine, they've been selling Iridium on the black market. Yeah, sorry. I don't know who's buying it, but screw them. Anything fun and bandits need to stop. I tried blowing the emergency valves on the main line, but they chased me out before the job was done. I need someone to get in there, finish connecting the fuses, then blow them up. Any takers? Yeah. Insult to injury. Remove the human skulls from the pikes at Titan's End. The bandits took over my dig site in the arid badlands. Members of my team attempted to defend themselves, but they were failures. And now the bandits have hung up their skulls like trophies. This is unsanitary and inappropriate for an archaeological dig site. I will pay someone to go to Titan's End and remove their skulls from the pikes. Easy enough. And then find Bruce McLean. Can anyone help me? I haven't heard from my fiance in weeks. His name is Bruce McLean, and he lives in a shack out near Zephyr Substation. Last I saw him, he was bragging about how rich he was about to become and how he was going to buy us a flight off this planet. Whatever he was up to, I bet it got him into trouble. Please, someone find my fiance. All right. Well, you know what? Let's get a couple of things done. We're going to... Uh, no, we'll do that one later. We're going to at least go do one of the scavenger ones. And I might go to the, um, Shock Crystal Cave. Not going to go and start it, but I might, like, go there so we can just start the next episode there instead of having to travel there first. But we'll go get this combat rifle done and hope for something good. Why'd the rock have to get in the way? I mean, seriously, what did I ever do to Dwayne Johnson? This twi quest two can be slightly annoying on playthrough one. <laughs> actually meant to do that how is it 
How are you still alive? Better. Let's go get our parts and hope for a decent assault rifle. I want this. I guess that's actually part two, but whatever. I probably didn't need a scope. I'm just so used to scoping. Red chest to check here in a moment. Here is the uh, site. That's part three. Someone's throwing axes at me. Mine, mine, and mine. All right, I don't mind, but it is what it is. That guy's down. Would help if I could remember where that part is. Oh well. I'll get to it here in a moment. That's the piece I've been looking for. Now for the barrel. And yeah, no, don't care about that. There's no escaping, Mark. Not what I was meaning to do, but hey, whatever. <laughs> you and your shotgun that's not good. looking for the barrel money okay more money now let's see if this thing's gonna be any good it's probably not but then we'll get queued up and we'll start the next episode with the shot crystal harvest I think with the claptrap rescue inside whoa oh look one's still here I guess not anymore She's beauty, isn't she? I'm just glad those bandits didn't get a hold of it. Why don't you hang on to it? A nice new combat rifle could come in handy, right? Depends on if it's good or not. Uh, does not do me any good. That's getting sold. Marcus, did you get any new inventory yet? Is that better than Lego I got? Eh, whatever. Yeah, I'm not worried about either of that. Nope. Not like one had legendary grenade mods anyway. At least that I can remember. 
Oh yeah, let's get down to uh, the shot crystal harvest. Let me pull it up a moment. And then we'll, next episode we'll get that along with clap trap and the other stuff done, I'm thinking. Dang, people. I think they're having problems over there. that just was I'm probably not doing this in the best way I could here we are Well, hey, thank you for spending time with me today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon, share the video around, all that standard YouTube jazz. I appreciate you spending time with me today. I'm your hobby cat, and I'll see you all in the next one.